everyone and welcome. I was in the middle of doing this and said, you know, you really should record this for posterity's sake. What I have is a, well, they call it a pork bot. I don't think they refer to it as a picnic ham, but um, I'm getting ready to smoke it in my smoker and stove stop poker, but it's too big. And I've already put the um, smoker um, pellets, wood pellets in the bottom, and I've got the rack. You want to keep it on the rack. Now, I don't want this to sit in the liquid. I don't want it to do that. And so, since this won't fit, I'm going to have to try something else. I've got the... Um, grill going so i've got the propane going it's heating up because i didn't want to do this in the house when it's really cold i'll do it in the house but because this is too big i decided to use aluminum foil yeah i had already started putting it on and then i said why don't you record this so this is a pork roast i marinated it for 24 hours in lemon pepper seasoning, um, maple syrup, a little bit of pepper, um, and some garlic powder. And so I've marinated, I didn't add any water, I didn't add the vinegar to it, I didn't do anything, I just let this stuff marinate. And water came out because of the salt in the lemon lemon pepper seasoning so the number one ingredient on the lemon pepper seasoning is salt so i said all right i got salt sugar citrus acid black pepper garlic onion you know a, a, a preservative lemon oil so it's got that in there and it's got the maple um, I didn't want to add any more salt, and as you see, it's it's looking really good. Yeah, it's the yellowish color from the lemon pepper seasoning, but I just got it all around it on both sides. I got some of the, the maple syrup, you know, I slash, slashed it so some of this stuff could go in, and I just let it sit in the refrigerator for 24 hours. So now I'm going to smoke it. Now, the additional thing I did was I put some um, vinegar on it. And it's my homemade vinegar, kombucha wine vinegar. I have not done a vid video on it because I haven't done a video on it. Um, but what happens is... You get all this leftover wine. You get wine that you open and you don't like. So I decided, I, I was reading, I had a book on vinegars, and it says, don't let that wine go to waste. Make it into vinegar. And um, this has been sitting for a little while. And I opened it up, and the, mm, the, the smell of the vinegar really hit my nose. So this is a wine vinegar. Now, it's going to be more of a steaming item. So it's going to steam and help moisturize the meat so we'll see how what it does for the flavor even though i did not marinate in it so let me get out here and get this on the grill cover this up with the foil well, and then it is it the december the 24th christmas eve that i'm recording this and my garden and my yard is filled with the leaves from and the sun is so high from my oak tree so I do need to get out here and and uh, get up the leaves but as soon as I get them up then they fall back down and I got to do another group so anyway I'll get out here probably Thursday and and blow and and run the lawnmower over them so I can make them into mulch but while I'm out here this is um, Swiss chard kind of dipped the other day because it needed water so we got it watered and this is a, well it's still hanging in there but it's a brussel sprouts so it's still hanging in there not too bad so as long as it's alive i'm gonna hang in there it looks like there's onion peeking up too it looks like there's oh i think i did plant some onions around these as some 
to, to make use of the space. Uh, oh, I'm liking the look of my lantana kale. That's looking good. And here's another one looking good. Now this Brussels sprout plant is also looking well, but there's another one that's doing pretty sick. <laughs> it's really small. Here's my five, soon to be six year old uh, kale plant. Um, let's see what's going on over here. Cause I haven't been out here since I came back from my vacation. That's a purple kale still growing. Here's some purple kales growing and the lantana is growing. So in the raised beds, they're doing okay. There's my um, Swiss chard that's still hanging in there. It's, it, it keeps going down and I harvest and it gets some more. This is the red kale, red Russian kale. Still doing well. Um, regular kale, couple more. Uh, Brussels plant looks like something was eating on that one. Here's another Brussels sprout, and there's a big Brussels sprout. See how the leaves keep falling on it? And let's see, I got one, two, three um, purple kale, and this one is still little and doing. Haven't harvested those cabbages yet. Uh, I'm gonna get out here, um, probably. Um, well, I'm working the day after Christmas and the day after that, so it'll probably be Sunday before I get out here. So I'm working Thursday and Friday, so Saturday I'll probably get out here on Sunday because I need to take the tiller, and I'm going to till all this because um, there are tree roots all through here. That's what's causing these plants not to grow so big. So I want to till through here. I'm going to plant some onions here. And there is another red kale. Um, I had put down a bunch of uh, leaves from when my daughter mowed the lawn. So she mowed and I didn't want it to fly away. <laughs> Got leaves saying, I want under, I want under, I want to be under there too. So I'll be uncovering that soon. I watered it down, covered it, and hopefully it'll do some deep composing. And then, let's see onions oh and here's my other ones uh my my collard plants and the kale oh this one's doing pretty good over here in the corner there's one over there there i got something growing wild trying i'll have to take a look and see what that is figure out what it is i'm not going to pull it up yet till i figure out what it is um, my mustard grains are doing okay. They look like they got hit with a little frost. And then the experiment is doing well. I'll be harvesting some of these things and uh, cooking them probably for New Year. Something is in here trying to eat. So we'll get it. We'll get them harvested, make some room for the ones that are hiding underneath. And this collard plant is still doing well. Hasn't rained in a while, so we probably should get out here and do some watering. So that's the update on the garden. So let's get back over here. See, plenty of compost <laughs> with all these leaves. Okay, so here I am, and it's saying that inside temperature uh, is approximately 375 degrees. So. I'm one-handed, I don't have this on a stick. And so, we're gonna open this up. I've got the heat on high right now, so I'm gonna turn it down to low. All right, and I can sit this, hold on. Um, this is too heavy to do with one hand. So I'm gonna pause. Okay, and so I've got it on the grill. I've made sure that the foil was pretty pretty well underneath and sealed pretty well so that it can stink except i see i got a little piece here that came a loops it's hot already Whew. okay i can't touch it without uh, some gloves now so even though I have this on low, all the way down to low, I'm going to close the lid and I'm going to let it cook for 
one hour and then we'll be back and see if we can smell anything i might take the foil off for a little bit and test it but usually this usually takes about an hour in the smoker and i'm seeing the heat coming up um, on the wall there you can see it coming so closing it down we'll get it back up and then we'll come out and then well i decided since I had the grill going and it was going to have to be going for at least an hour or so, I'd bring the ham out and let it smoke. Um, the lid on the ham is not um, totally down and I didn't put any liquid in the bottom. So I'm going to let it sit for about 30 minutes or so, come back out and check it to see if I need to put any water in the bottom of the, the ham. But I'm going to cook it out here on the grill. And we'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm outside and I'm about to open up. It's been at least two hours of cooking. I came out at an hour to check everything. And with the ham, I had to put some water in it. But let's check and see. Okay what the internal temperature is probably more than it needs to be it has to be at least 165 and it is definitely that it's actually more than that so the ham is done so i'm going to take that off the flame sorry about that i got the phone in my hand so that's going to come off the flame and now I'm going to take the cover off of the picnic pork butt, picnic ham, whatever they call it. And it should be, oh, it should be good. Oh, I can smell the smoke. And it's probably going to be super done. Let's see where it is. Okay, it is itching up to 165, which is perfect. So this baby is done. So I'm going to get him in the house, put him on the stove, and let him cool down. Well, this is fall off the bone pork. Look at that, that bone. When I get ready to cut it, it's going to come right out. The issue right now is going to be cleaning the pan. <laughs> I mean, I, I've roasted this longer than normal. I had it on for two hours. Um, I've, I've finally purchased the uh, thermometer so I could see. Usually, I just would press on it and whatever. So, I just kind of let it, and the juices are still flowing out of it. So, I'm going to let it rest. But it, it is just juicy and then the ham you know normally with the ham we have that uh, in the oven and again it's kind of cooked to the bottom of the pan so I'm going to do that but again I'm letting these rest for a while before I slice them but I got a lot done while I was waiting I made um, stuffing for the turkey breast I had sauerkraut that I made a long time ago, and I've been wanting to cook it, so I cooked that. So you see the picture for that. I had some apples. I wasn't sure whether I wanted to make Waldorf salad or not. I decided to cook the apples and put them in a pie, so they're cooking. And then I'm in the beginnings of making the macaroni salad, because I had um, onion and celery and green pepper left from making the stuffing so i'm going to put that in the macaroni salad so i had to boil some eggs for that so i've been just kind of busy for the last two hours anyway i will show you a picture of it sliced up because i'm taking this to my son and daughter-in-law's house because what day is this today is tuesday the day before christmas so tuesday Monday, Sunday, Saturday, Friday. Five days ago, she delivered um, my new granddaughter. And she is only at, 
was only at 30 weeks. So the baby is in NICU, but the baby is doing fine. And I'm so just like happy that the baby is fine. Mom's fine. So they were supposed to come over here for Christmas, but because she had a C-section, she just got out of the hospital. So I'm taking dinner to them and her father's in town. So I'm making dinner for six or seven people, but I had all this food. So I'm going to slice some up of the pork, like slice up some of the ham. Um, Sarah doesn't like um, ham. So I'm take I'm, cooking a turkey breast instead of a whole turkey. That's why I got the stuffing. And I'm going to take half of the breast over there. So I'm not taking all this food over there, but I'm taking enough that everybody can eat well. And then for me, it goes in the freezer, and then I will have food um, for a while. But I'm going to take a nice healthy portion over there. So the macaroni salad, you know, the... Um, I've got greens. I have to bring greens. That's that's my thing that they tell me I have to bring. So greens and um, possibly the apple pie. Anyway, but that's it for now. I'll show you some pictures once I get everything laid out for tomorrow. Well, tomorrow I'll take the pictures.